as usual, I'm faced with a lot of items that need to be hauled. Hi everybody, thanks for coming in for a video. This is a very different type of thrift haul video. I don't believe I've ever done one that is faceless. <laughs> Just a little voice and um, a lot of looks at what I picked up. Now you ask, what do you know about art? Not much, I don't know much about art. But I know what I like, and I know that I've picked several things up throughout the years that I enjoy and that people have complimented. And uh, I just feel that that's what drives me to pick it up. So I did pick up these little pieces here. This is um, a black and white. This is uh, actually signed by the artist in 1987. I just really liked it. I. Um, I don't know what does he call it beginning painting 1989 and uh, yeah I have found a lot of amateur pieces and I just they speak to me I like them I hang them up this was three dollars at the Goodwill really really adored that um I don't know I like the fact that it's black and white I like the geometrics around it I like the old telephone I like the fact that just the word telephone is kind of an obsolete thing these days. So that's why I picked yeah. it. I also picked this one up. I hope I'm even holding it right. <laughs> that's a bigger one. You saw me put that in the card as well. I just love the colors. I really, really like the kind of uh, botanical look to it, forest. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, but I really like it. I'm going to be moving some art around in the house and um, taking advantage of this. This one even has a little hinges already ready. This one was $5.99. Now I did get this during the discount, so I got it for about $4. That was a very nice pickup, I think. I really like that. And uh, I'm definitely gonna be putting them in my house. I'll show you a couple of other pieces that I've gotten. I got you this one recently. I love this one too. The frame on that is beautiful. Love those deep, rich colors. Very, very nice painting as well. Here on this wall, I picked up about five years ago at a charity shop, and I love this one too. Don't recognize anything about the signature. Beautiful frame, and it's been sitting there on that wall, like I said, for about five years. I really do like that. This is some of my children's artwork. I'll frame that up as well. All right, so that's just art for now. Other things that I got, guys, you may have seen me pick some of these up. You may not have seen me pick some of these up. I'm not sure, but I love the geode. Big, thick geode with some little felt tips there. Very, very nice. I thought I would get this. Well, not only does it look beautiful, but I also want to use it for props. Taking pictures of my um, jewelry and that kind of thing. So I like that. I cannot believe I found a pretty much unused vintage Tupperware bread box for only $1.50. That was a total, total giveaway. I don't believe this was at the... Goodwill. I think this was at the other thrift store because they're normally so expensive for anything Tupperware. Cute little celestial tea cup with lid and that was a little bit less than three dollars. This was the day of the um, the discount. Salt and pepper shakers. They're not really my thing. I don't really sell many. I, I don't think I've ever sold any. I think I listed some that I have and I think I still have them. They never sold. But they're really pretty. They're Amish. But these are Idaho baked potatoes. They're Tag made in Japan. They were only, I think, a dollar or two, 99 cents for the set of two. So I love those. They're so cute. And I do love baked potatoes. All right, that same day, you may have seen me pick up these items. And this is so cute. This is made in China. It's beautiful cloisonne work. I just thought it was darling. Really pretty. So tiny. These were 99 cents as well. Aren't those pretty? Isn't that beautiful work? I love it. This was also 99 cents, I believe. Isn't that cute? That's Japan as well. Another tiny one for 99 cents. Cutest, cutest thing ever. Japan as well. I just love them. I'm gonna list them, but they're super cute. Same day, we got all of this up here. Or this whole week, guys. I got a really nice Pyrex. Let me let you take a look at that pattern. I guess it's kind of a colonial. I really like it. I've never seen this one before. Have you guys seen this style? It's 
very, very nice. And uh, pretty milk glass. Nice size. Be nice to have the lid for it. I thought I had the lid for it. I had a small lid, but no, it did not fit. These were a dollar a piece. They're really pretty for your eggs. And this is Nevco. Nevco Japan. There's only three, but I don't know if it was supposed to be five or what. Because I hear something about odd numbers and Japanese sets, so I'm not sure. You might want to straighten me out on that. Beautiful vintage pin cushion, guys. This is tiny little fat pig. Isn't he cute? I can't quite tell if it's Mexican or what. Because the, the painting kind of looks Mexican folk art, but I really can't tell. But I really like that too. All right, then I love this. This is actually Libby. Really pretty mini picture. Tiny little thing. Look at that. Looks a lot bigger, but it's really small. You put it right there next to the teacup so you can see scale-wise. It's not very big at all. Really a pretty grapefruit color, though. Love it. I really do. It's only 99 cents. That was the Goodwill as well. And then this is that Pyrex style, but it's actually made in France. And I bought one of these not too long ago. And I believe it had lobsters, and it sold for about $80. So I'm not sure what the take is on this one, but there it is there, and it says something made in France. All right, there it is there. Got a 9-inch casserole dish. Not a very big one, but really pretty. Love the eggplant. Carrot, vegetables. Beautiful, beautiful design on this. And still very much intact. Very nice work on that. Really nice Hager piece too. Still tagged there. This was only $2. Is there a store that I went to? Really nice round vase there. Hope you can see it. Very nice. I thought I would do this quick little video, guys, because I uh, got home late today and... Um, I really want to put these things away. My husband made me some shelving to put some of these things away. And now I have room to put a lot of these things. But it's super cute. It's Santa. Still tagged, still boxed. Jim Shore. I don't remember. Let me see what I paid for that. 99 cents. So not bad for a nice Jim Shore. All of that will go in there. I got this beautiful vase, guys. I love this. Little horn vase, I guess. It says USA at the bottom. It's the most beautiful minty green color. This was $1.98. So I love that as well. And I got a really pretty set, four all together, of these stack. These are not selling for any big money, but I think they're just really quaint. Made in the USA. I think they're selling for like $10 a piece or $5 a piece, just depending. I do have four, and those were only 50 cents. They're just so cute with the little graphics from the uh, old Sears catalogs. And for 50 cents, you really couldn't beat that. Absolute Media Scotch Magnetic Reel to Reels. These were 69 cents, but I did have that discount that day. So they cost me about 50 cents. And these rung up on, scanned up with the Amazon seller app for about, I think, $25 to $30, different prices. But I think I put mine up for about $25 a piece. Haven't sold one yet, but I got a bunch of them. Look at that. I got a whole stack. I think 11 of them. I showed you this little ginger jar the other day, but if I did, forgive me. It's a small one. I believe it was a dollar or two. I think it's Chinese, Taiwan, really pretty. It is, I think, to hold a taper candle. I don't know, I may have showed you that too, but isn't it darling? $4.99 for that one. It's a little sleigh, I really do love, love that, it's so pretty. What is better, guys, than finding the perfect blue jean jacket? I've been looking for the perfect blue jean jacket for probably two years, and I love Levi's. I do, but they don't fit me right. They tend to be kind of tight right here at the hips. This one has a slight stretch. I got it really cheap for $4, and it's in great condition. It's the perfect, perfect color, in my opinion, the perfect washed color. So I really like that, and I have been wanting to get these jackets because I do a lot of crafts. 
I do some embellishment on the back with those. Yep. Tea in a pretty little coral color. I've got a blue one too. It's it kind of a navy blue. And this one is actually from Old, Old Navy. So that was nice. And then look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, I fell in love with this. I did overpay slightly, but I am going to list it. I have not showed it to my daughter yet. I don't know if she'll wear it, even if she really likes it. I may let her wear it a couple of times. But, you know, here in Texas, we don't really have the occasion to wear these beautiful sweaters as much as we like. But this has the most beautiful owl motifs all around it. It's got the owl face here. It's got the owl face on the pockets. It's got that really pretty fuzzy. It's got a little faux horn button there. And then look at the back. Gosh, it is so Harry Potter. Look at that. I just love it. And it is long, not super long, but it's probably right at the knees. So, tiny little hood too. It's not a big oversized sweater, but oh my goodness, I just thought it was great. And for that price, I cannot beat that price. Oh, it says 2X. Let's see, it says XLXL. So I think this might be, um, I don't know, it could be a child's extra large, like a 16. So I'll have to bill it like that because it's definitely not an extra large. Over here, guys, with my other stuff that I need to put away. I got this fabulous tray. I thought it was really different and really, really pretty. I kind of like it for my collection of stones. I may put them in there on the on my coffee table, but I may also list it because it has a pretty good following. It's a Nate, um, Nate Burkus. So some of his st stuff sells for pretty good money. Huge, huge tray. Really, really big, as you can see. The big tray. Very, very nice. Five dollars. Again, I could have gotten a discount that day as well. So I'm not too sure, but uh, most of the time I do get a discount. I don't know if you believe in the Second Amendment, but I do believe in the movie Thelma and Louise. <laughs> and I think this is where this t-shirt came from. I think I would not wear this, but I will probably make a pillow out of it, a little cushion. I really like it. And I, anytime I see anything with my name on it, since it's not a very common name, I usually grab it. Love that. That was also from that thrift store. Doesn't have the tag anymore, I don't think. But I think he let me have it for 99 cents. Um, you know, it's for your forks and things, but I got it for jewelry. I love organizing the jewelry in this, especially the necklaces. So I've got that. A pretty tray. You saw me get this in the ride along too. This is a nice heavy brass, guys. And I just love the knots and the designs on it. I thought it was really different. And then the weight on it is super, super different. You rarely, you know, find these trays that are so heavy. So $3 on that one. 25% off. That must have been about $2 actually. And then you saw me pick this one up. I just liked it again. What do you know about art? About what I know about art? I don't know. I just know what I like. And there was something about this painting, this small little, I think 11 by, I don't know, 11 by 6 or something that I just really, really liked. So I'm going to enjoy that. Two weeks ago, I was in the hunt, on the hunt for linen towels to line my cabinets. I had kind of redone my cabinets, gave away a lot of items, and I took out the old liners, and I believe I got it for about 69 cents. It's nice and pretty. I did pick up a jewelry bag for a very high price. $59, yes. So when I see them for $12 at the other store, you know I grab them. This one was $59. Pick these bowls up, and they do have some crazing, but they're super cute. There are three nesting bowls. And these are from... I thought they were super pretty. USA, Universal, Cambridge, Oven Proof. Looked it up. They do sell for very good money on eBay. And I got them for basically a dollar a piece. They were unmarked. And he said I could have them for $2.98. So I picked those up. I forgot what the pattern is called. Rose something or floral something. But uh, very, very nice little nesting bowls there. Got those. I love this, guys. It is kind of loose or broken, I don't know, but it is musical, and the music does work. It is working on it. I'm gonna get my husband to try to put that back into place, but uh, it's the circus. And um, I've just been really, I was just really loving this thing, guys. This is just made in China. It does work, but it's 
super cute, but the little rotator thing is a, a bit messy, so they're not moving. I don't know what's going on. This is, I think, wood, and I think these are resin. This appears to be wood as well. So just love that. That was so cute. That was only $3. So for $3, I thought I would take a risk, get it fixed. Hopefully my husband can fix it. And uh, we'll list that. Charlie Brown Thermos. This is new, never used, or dead stock, basically. And uh, some of these were selling for about $15. They did not have Charlie Brown. They had Snoopy and Lucy. So I'm thinking Charlie may bring some interest. That was about $2. Maybe $1.50 with my discount. Then I looked this one up too. Made in Japan. Kafka Woodware, made in Japan. Some interesting prices on these on eBay. This is a pretty nice tall little vase here. Very pretty, and that was 99 cents. So, of course I picked that up, and I fell in love with this thing. This is so cute. It's just a little trinket tray. And it is, I believe, made in Turkey. Yeah, there it is, made in Turkey. Super cute. This was $4.99. I did get a discount that day, so I believe it was about three, but look at that beautiful design. So I thought I would throw that up on eBay as well. Oh, I got this beautiful bowl, guys. This is wood. I don't think I showed it to you last time Sitting on my table. For a while, I had some fruit in there, and I just love it. It's so pretty. Um, I think it's numbered and signed back there. 5071 of 550, I believe. Nice little wooden bowl. I love the corn. I think that is so pretty. Let me see what else we got. I got this, guys, because I have bought two of them that I knew were fake, and I wanted to take them home to study them. This one is actually giving me pause. <laughs> it's got a lot of telltale signs that tells me it may not be fake. So I'm going to study it really well. First of all, this one is definitely leather. The other one was not, though it did feel like it. And uh, this one is a lot more worn, which also, to me, indicates it could be the genuine gem because the other ones were so new, it almost seemed as, you know, maybe a store at the... We have an area here in Houston called Harwin that is uh, constantly getting busted for selling counterfeits. And I think when they take the items, they sometimes donate them to Goodwill. So many times things like Vera Bradley's and, you know, um, Michael Kors and different types of brands can wind up at the Goodwill and definitely be fake. That's what I think was the case with the other Goyard, but I'm not thinking this about this one. Again, many reasons. One, it actually collapses a lot different from the other one. The other one was also very soft but a little bit stiffer, and this one is genuine leather. But I'm going to study it a little bit more. And uh, it was $12, but I did get a discount. And I think the other ones I had gotten were about 5 So I'm going to check all the serial numbers, all of the other Telltale items, and just, you know, get it as a learning experience for me. I always like to do that as well. And as I said, this one is just so much more worn than the other ones. The other ones were new. So that's why I have a feeling maybe some well-to-do lady just said, hey, I've had it with this Goyard. Let me get me another one and donate this one to the Goodwill. So we shall see, and I will let you know about that. Got some really nice Levi's, brand new. These, I'm hoping will fit my son. I think they may. They, they, I cannot believe how expensive Levi's are. But uh, I thought they were nice. If they don't uh, fit him, I'll just put them up on eBay. Should get a pretty good price on those. I don't like to sell jeans. It's one of the things I absolutely hate. But when you see a brand new pair at a fabulous price at the Goodwill, you know, you just pick them up. Okay, over here, I got some beautiful napkins. These were, I think, in the bins. No, 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 no. These were at the regular Goodwill. I haven't been to the bins in a couple of weeks, so. These were a little bit less than $2. Four beautiful little napkins. I thought these were really pretty. And then I got a Longenberger, is that correct? Longenberger, Longenberger basket, handmade basket. Uh, yeah, super cool. They did ruin it with the markings, but it was only $3 and just a really nice 
basket. I'm not sure what I can get for it on eBay or anything. It appears to be in wonderful condition. And I believe that some of these things have linings and all of that. So I'm not sure if that compromises the, the price a whole bunch. It may, may compromise the price, but I still got that. And then I got a really nice book, Four Days. This is the uh, tragedy, American tragedy of uh, Kennedy. And that is going in my classroom. Then I got this cute, tiny little vintage jewelry box. For less than $2, I think I got this for $1.50. This thing is about, what, five by seven maybe? Just tiny and so cute in this orange color. Could not resist that. So um, that is what I got. Guys, I almost forgot to show you these fabulous pilgrims that I got. This is twice I already, two hauls that I forgot to show you these. These were $3 for this Isn't set. Pretty kind of a stoneware. And then this lady just baked a pie. I got a very handsome pilgrim couple. I love them. I hope you enjoyed the haul. I hope that you'll forgive me for doing it this way and that my camera wasn't too shaky. But I thought it would be different to just kind of see things up close and personal. And as I said, I got to, to this a little bit late with all the things I had to do this weekend. And we will go back to the other way. We will do, of course, live videos ride-alongs and jewelry jar, especially that $60 one sitting over there on the sofa. Be sure and give me a thumbs up, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Again, guys, have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.